Hi there, my name is Caleb Eubanks, and I'm feeling very passionate right now. Believe it or not, I'm not actually talking to you right now with my voice box. This audio file is 100% generated using artificial intelligence. Using open source programs such as Bark from Suno AI, or paid programs such as Speechify or Eleven Labs, such as this, you can literally type the words you want the AI to speak. Some programs have built-in voice conversions. For this audio you are listening to now, I exported the Arnold voice from Eleven Labs and then used RVC or Retrieval voice conversion from GitHub to clone my voice from an old audiobook recording and then apply it to the generated audio clip. The entire process took me only a few quick minutes. In this video, we will go over the basics of Bark and talk about how AI can help you accomplish your goals. That's Hi right. there, my name is Caleb whoa, 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 whoa. and I'm feeling very passionate right now. Believe it or not, I'm not actually talking to you right now. Hi there, my name is... As you can see, we did multiple versions. Uh, I can do my voice in kind of a, a happy, dramatic voice, or I can do it in the other voice. Uh, and exactly as it just told you the story there, you know, we, we're, we're going to be jumping into Bark, which is right over here on GitHub. So let's just, you know, let's, let's just take a look. So there are so many different programs I want to get into, but I feel Bark is one of the beginner introduction type programs because it really just helps you understand how AI can work with some of these different tools uh, and how it can work for you if you're trying to accomplish content creation uh, and it's got a very simple way to get about it so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it uh, you can see right here on the screen when you jump into bark it, it shows you something it says man hey there upbeat music it's a uh, laughs pleasure to meet you and what you can tell right here is is bark is gonna do a lot of amazing things it's going to be able to inference whether it's a man or a woman it's going to be able to infer the language whether it's English or Japanese or Spanish uh, and not only that it can add sound effects music and, and even things like like hesitation, size, laughter, and, and all those things are really beneficial when you're trying to create a realistic, dynamic type of a conversation. So we're gonna jump right into how to do this with the open source software as well as some of the paid softwares. They're all something that you can use in your toolbox, and I have no affiliation with any of these uh, programs or any of the software. I'm most interested in how to do things for free and in open source, so I'm just excited to show you this if you haven't seen it yet. If you have any information or, or comments uh, to put in there for me, feel free, jump in. I, I love to learn this stuff as I'm going. I want to do the best that I can to keep adding to that knowledge base. Uh, and anyway, so right here, if we wanted to test this out, what would this sound like right here? What would it sound like? Hey there. It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. That's, that's, that's what it sounds like, right? Hey there. It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. And that's actually an enhanced hey version. The original version it's sounded a, more like... Hey there. It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. Versus... It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. All right, so when you're looking at what you can do with Bark, you'll see that there's an example link right here, as well as an update, how to use installation and an FAQ. So let's go ahead and jump into the examples, and I'm gonna click right on this page. This is going to show you a, a bunch of different things that it can do, and let's just take a listen right now. The, the model is called Bark, like Clifford the Big Red Dog, or, um, or Bark as in tree bark, that's impressive. I mean, I, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the inferences uh, of the different intonations right here when it comes up with the mm and the or bar, you know, this, the way that it sounds like an actual person stumbling across their language is, is amazing. And, and let's keep listening. I've got a secret to tell you. I can pass the Turing test. So because the model sees the word secret, it actually knows to speak in a more whisper type voice. So it, not only does it infer the voice or infer the words based on like a chat GPT style prompt, it can then export that audio in a way that kind of fits that, which is extremely impressive. I can't even begin to tell you how many levels of cool that is. Tired of Doom's fooling Twitter, worried about the inevitable rise of our AI overlords, try Soma, the miracle drug from Brave New World, brought to you by beloved Megacorp Jackson and Jackson. <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty cool. It sounds like a, an old timey ad. One thing about the, this program is you can choose very specific vo voices. You can also clone voices and use your own. One other thing that I think is really nice is you can type in things like sad and size. And let's go ahead and listen to this. My friend's bakery burned down last night. Now, his business is toast. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't laugh, but okay. That's just the... <sighs> that sounds great. I mean, it's, it's very, like very impressive. Voice for radio and, like, what do they say? Uh, voice for... Um, for print? <laughs> 
Perfect. All right. So you, you can hear, like I said, the, the delay in the speech and, of course, that laughter at the end, which sounds genuinely very real. I, I can't even tell you how much better that is from the previous versions that I've heard. Uh, and, of course, if you put that through an audio enhancer, it's going to make it sound even better. Another cool thing here is the ability to do multilingual synthesis. For example, 我计划在下周的游泳比赛中和我的朋友托尼比赛。他认为自己可以打败我，但他不知道我一直在鱼缸里偷偷练习游泳。我不敢说我会赢，但我很确定我会高。Er ist ein nationales Kulturgut. Wir müssen ihn um jeden Preis schützen. Crazy. All these different languages. We got Portuguese. A apresentação do fish da noite passada é a prova de que Deus nos ama. Мы готовим блины, устраиваем игры и гуляем по городу. That's crazy. And of course, code switching, which is basically another word for being able to switch between different languages. It can understand the fact that when you write in one language, it's supposed to speak in a certain way, and when you start typing in another language, it reads and understands that as a different language, and of course, then compensates and speaks that language properly. When you listen to the bottom one that speaks in German, it actually uses a German accent when it's speaking in English. So even when it goes. From the German language, when it goes back to English, it, it just it keeps that same、uh, accent. Let's listen that one first. Hey Martin, es ist wirklich beeindruckend, dass du nur mit deiner linken Hand programmieren kannst. It's super cool, but maybe you could type faster if you use the right hand too. It was as if he had never existed. My grandmother used to say, "El amor es como el agua, no puede sostenerlo en tus manos." That's incredible. The voice—it sounds it sounds like I could hear an entire book being narrated with that voice. It's very, very good. So、uh, once we go back here,、uh, to very quickly kind of run through this, there's a whole bunch of different things we can do: foreign languages, music, voice presets. There's a lot of information you can see on the Git page right there.、Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on installation just to take a look at that. We'll go back up here, installation. So to install, it says, "Do not just type in pip install." Uh, Bark. It, you'll get some other installation. It's not the correct one. But if you don't even have Git on your computer, the very quick steps are going to be: you're going to want to get Git on your computer, which you can go to GitHub、uh, and, and find some more information about that. Or you can just go to Git Bash.、Uh, right here, I'm going to put this link in for this one right here. You can download for Windows just by clicking this. And once you've got this installed on your computer, it's going to be very, very simple. What I do is I've got an AI master folder here, as you can see, and I've actually got a Bark folder in here, Voice Bark. Uh, and, and what you would do is you would just create a new folder somewhere, something like you know, bark new. And I will go into that folder, and from here you can go into the top bar and just type in command. And once you've got your command open, it looks a little bit like that. CMD is going to open up the command, so you type in the CMD, opens that up. And once you've got that opened, you can go over here and just copy this bottom one.、Uh, you can do the top one, but I, I like the bottom one right there. Once you've got that, you just go over here and hit Control V. In order to use the software, though, you have to be familiar with the command line. And if you don't want to do that, no problem. I don't want to do that either. So they do luckily have a couple other options. There is this uh, UI uh, version right here, which allows you to just put the prompt or the, what you want to be written, and then you can choose the voice. And And you hit launch or generate, and it will then create the voice for you. Here inside this branch, you've got a one-click installer, so you can just click right on there and and get it going. You know, keep in mind the models do take a long time to get downloaded. I've noticed they're quite large. Make sure you've got a little bit of space for those.、Uh, there is another third option, and I would like to show you this one. It is called the Bark Infinity, and it allows you to do so much stuff.、Uh, as you can see right here, the UI is pretty large. You've got the ability to split up long text, connect audio segments. Uh, generate sampling and, of course, do things very specific with your naming and your final outputs.、Uh, not only that, you can create and clone your own voices with Bark, and it works pretty well for for the purposes. It's not as good as some other voice cloning softwares out there. Still,、uh, I'm working with it and trying to get better and better at it.、And、if you have any, you know, opinions about how to do it the best way, please feel free to comment in the below, and I'll, I'll definitely take that into consideration. Okay, so when it comes to installing Bark Infinity, just make sure you have the prerequisites that are listed right here, which is just making sure that you have the NVIDIA drivers, basically,、uh, and, and then you want to follow the install steps, which is getting the latest zip file and then extracting it and then clicking on it.、Um, it's pretty simple. Once it does that, it's going to start installing all the necessary requirements, and that will take a little bit of time. When you're finished with all that, it's going to open up the UI, and that's going to look something like this. All right. So when you first jump in the program, it's going to look something like this. The console is going to be blank, but you're going to have a spot right here for your main text prompt. You can also use audio or semantic prompts, which we'll go over another time,、uh, or you can test out yourself. Always feel free to experiment.
Okay, so here's where the program starts to get kind of fun. We've got the ability to pick different speakers. They've got built-in speakers right here. As you can see, a whole bunch of different built-in speakers. Oh my goodness. Uh, they even have speakers he ex accidentally left in, which, you know, snarky narrators, female storytellers. You've got your custom speakers that you can train yourself and put them in right there. And of course, folder processing. If you're gonna do batch stuff, I, I don't know. If you wanna do a whole bunch of different speakers at once, you can do a bunch of different speakers with the same text. Uh, that, that could be useful for a few different marketing purposes. Once you've got your text prompt in here like it's ready you know once you've got it and you want it to say that you just go down here and hit generate audio that's all you do just hit generate audio and it's going to start generating audio and it can do it very very quickly down at the very very bottom you've got bass default monochrome soft and glass and what that is it's going to be a little bit of how this algorithm is going to be putting out your sample and how it's going to sound so feel free to again experiment with those and i'll do some more tests with those in the future but right now we're going to go ahead and look at exactly what we're able to uh, get with this one of the drawbacks with bark is unless you're starting to split up long text it will cut off a lot of times the audio that you're putting out there it can only generate about 12 to 14 seconds at a time anything past that it starts to have malfunctions my first prompt of the day says i'm going to make a youtube video talk talking about text to audio programs like bark clears throat please listen all of you laughter sighs sorry i can be a little silly sometimes uh it was too much stuff and as you can tell right here when we I'm listen gonna, i'm gonna go to make a youtube video talk talking about text to audio programs like bark please listen that oh <laughs> getting part where it says i'm gonna go make a youtube video talk talking about the text to audio programs like bark i thought that was pretty good let's listen one more time the talk talking about i'm gonna go to make a youtube video talk talking about text to audio programs like bark yeah, and with that, I didn't even choose a narrator or any specific person. I just sat there and did the prompt and hit, you know, generate, and that's what we got with that. Let's take a look at the next one. I put, man, hey there, upbeat music. It's a uh, laughs, pleasure to meet you. Uh, and what we'll notice is that it, upbeat music doesn't actually work right now. And, and if we go back to GitHub and look at the, the different words that are supposed to be used, uh, we'll see laughter, laugh, size, music, gasps, clear throat. We, we see a lot of these things, but we don't see... Uh, that actual command in there. So that's probably the reason why it doesn't work. Uh, you will see all the supported languages and, and, and that's really nice. Hey there. It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. Hey, hey there. It's a pl pl pleasure to meet you. Hey there. It's a uh, pleasure to meet you. I like it. I like it. All right, cool. And then the one after that is, this is important stuff right here with some laughter at the end. Let's see if that one comes through. This is important stuff, right? <laughs> what in God's name is that? That is the scariest thing. And sometimes you get some demonic stuff from hell, apparently, because that is the, it, it, it's playing music. You can tell right at the beginning. This is important story here. Laughter. This is important stuff, right? Help! Help! Did it say help, please? Help! Help! help me? Okay, I don't know, that's creepy. I'm not gonna play that one again. That one's creeping me out. Um, you gotta keep experimenting with this program to see what's possible with it. You know, there's so many fun things to do. If I wanna save it, I just go down here to the three dots, I click it and I download, no problem. Uh, and, and speaking of fun things to do, for the end of the video, I wanna show you guys just a, a few other quick programs and a, uh, of course, a way to enhance your audio as well. Uh, and, and to do that, you can go right here to Adobe Podcast, which once you go into Adobe Podcast, it's got a few different options that are free to use. You can do up to an hour a day. Uh, and from right here, you just put in your audio that you want to enhance. Here we can listen to it side by side, enhanced and not enhanced, and you'll be able to hear the big difference. I'm gonna go to make a YouTube video talk talking about text to audio programs like Bark. I'm gonna enhanced. go to make a YouTube video talk talking about text to audio programs like Bark. You can tell, big, big differences in between the two. Another thing you can do is there's programs like Speechify out there, which use like different voices that have been cloned already, and in the software it's, yo, it's Snoop D-O double G and I'm an English voice from the United States. Welcome to Speechify. Speechify can read to you in the highest quality digital voices available anywhere. Or there's like Eleven Labs, which is what I was using previously, and that's how I did the beginning intro part where it says, hi there, my name is Kayla, blah, 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 blah. And from here, we can just pick any type of a voice. So I'm gonna pick a new voice, like we'll say Josh, and I'll hit generate. Hi there, my name is Caleb Eubanks, and I'm feeling very passionate right now. 
Believe it or not, I'm not actually talking to you right now with my voice box. And whether it comes from Bark or 11 Labs like that file, I can then put it into another program that's open source called RVC, and I can use my trained voice, and I can convert it, and it pops out such as... Hi there, my name is Caleb Eubanks, and I'm feeling very passionate right now. Believe it or not, I'm not actually talking to you right now with my voice box. This audio file is 100% generated using artificial intelligence. And we'll have to do an entire video about this later, but if I wanted to do things like celebrity voices like Brad Pitt or Leo, let's, let's just do Leonardo DiCaprio. Why not? Uh, I've done a lot of the Chris Hemsworth stuff in the past, so why not do Leo? If I just click his name right there and I put the correct transpose, uh, I'm going to go ahead and th assume his voice is, is probably about the same, and then I'll just go ahead and convert that uh, with Harvest, and we'll take a look at what that sounds like. Hi there, my name is Caleb Eubanks, and I'm feeling very passionate right now. Believe it or not, I'm not actually talking to you right now with my voice box. This audio file is 100% generated using artificial intelligence, using open source programs such as Bark from Suno AI, or paid programs such as Speechify or Eleven Labs, such as this. You can literally type the words you want. We can even turn it into a girl if we wanted to. This audio file is 100% generated using artificial intelligence using open source programs such as Bark from Suno AI, or paid programs such as Speechify or Eleven Labs, such as this. You can literally type the words you want the AI to speak. Oh my gosh, I didn't even go over Tortoise TTS. There's just, there's just not time. All right, Tortoise TTS next time. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for sticking around. And of course, if you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys. See you in the next video.